you gotta shake this ink really well. Got a little, got a little ball inside there that helps mix it up. Ah, oh, this one's really coagulated. It's not, not engaging the shaker. All right, it's good enough. I need, a, I need a second. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Freedom to Paint with Ronnie Falco. I'm Ronnie Falco, and you're here in my studio. Um, we're, you might remember a couple months ago we did an episode on mono printing. I've since perfected my technique. I have all new inks, a whole new way to do it. I've revolutionized mono printing. So here we go. You got your inks out. You want to drop the ink down in little puddles. Oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. So this one is really solidified. Um, these are soy based inks. So that's what it should look like. So I want a little dollop. And when you know your ink is thick, write on there, thick, because that'll help out, help you remember um, which ink has thickened up on you. Okay. Got all my ink down. Uh, I'm not going to close all these, but I want to show you what I usually do is use a paper towel and close the tip and wipe the tip clean. You want to keep your tip clean. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to... Um, make a, I need to find some tape, um, hold on. I'm going to show you how to make a Eagle mono print. So I need to have my, I need to tape off the corners. So when I paint on the uh, plexi, I can take the paper out from underneath the plexi and then line it up. Okay, it's important. I'm doing an addition of one, so I want it to look the same. All right, here we go. So I get in with the color. Gonna do some air lines over the ink in preparation. And then just start painting. So obviously I'm doing the head of the eagle first. Okay, get in there, be expressive. It's all about America, it's about freedom. And then I'm going to use a different brush. I have this little urine um, bedpan that I use. It's perfect for holding brushes. The brushes don't fall out of it. Okay, then I'm going in with white. And I want to kind of mix in with the brown to make it more expressive. So I'm doing the body of the eagle. And then I can come in and I can remove areas, which is kind of cool. Make space for the beak, and then I'm going to grab some black, squirt some out, and start working on the eyes. And then I want to do the trademark beak shape, so I'm going to prepare for a triangle right there. Come in with the yellow, like that. And then I'm going to use some of this red. It's getting kind of confused of where, where I put my brush and where I'm getting my ink from. So I'm going to come in here and get the red for the lips. And I feel like I'm missing something. Um, I think I'm going to do a little bit of texture on the head of the eagle. Just to, just to let people know that it's feathers. Like that. And I'm about ready to print. Last thing I'm going to do is sign it. And when you sign it, you got to remember to write backwards. What I usually do is write on tracing paper and flip it over. But I'm just going to wing it this time. Um, I think. So I'm writing backwards. Falco. My last name's Falco. And now I'm going to take this out. One last thing, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more texture here. Sometimes if it's all white, it'll kind of get lost when you uh, do the uh, put the paper down. All right, push everything out of the way. 
Lay your paper carefully. This is where the tape comes in handy. So I'm laying it down carefully. Drop it down. And now it's a race against time. The ink is starting to set up on the paper. I'm going to take a stainless steel soup ladle and burnish the back of the paper. Camera, this is about freedom. This is about your country. This is about doing the right thing. This is about producing something beautiful for other people to look at. It's about the economy. It's about selling a beautiful piece of artwork. Okay, now I can take a sneak peek. Take this hand, these fingers, place it down, raise it up. Uh, I'm really happy with the results. You can even, if you're careful, go back in and rework areas if you like. Add some more color and then lay it back down. Give it a once over and then you're done. Oh, oh geez, that's not what I wanted to happen. A little bit of chaos in the studio, but that makes it more fun. Monitor printing is all about not being in control of all the variables. There's a there's a basically a feeling that anything can happen. All right, a little workout too. You can kind of flex your muscles a little, and I'm done. There you have it. My name is now spelled the right way. So, just shows you how to monoprint an eagle. I'm Ronnie Falco. Thanks for watching.